we were asked to look at a an existing garage conversion just like next doors this one had failed building control because the floor was three inches out of level and no damp proof membrane had been inserted we took the end wall out of the garage to make access very very easy and removed all of the skirting boards with a cranked bolster and a hammer Having done that, we cut the plasterboard up to above the skirting, i.e. above DPC, and cleaned the walls down with a chisel, making sure they were flat and smooth with no excess mortar on them. Having done that, we removed all of the insulation and the floorboards from the floor, stored them outside. As you can see, the floor is a little bit damp. We cleaned all of the mortar that had been dropped when the brickwork was done from the floor using a roughneck mutt, that's a huge floor scraper. And made absolutely sure that the floor was as smooth as it could possibly be. Cleaning up thoroughly with a brush and then afterwards a hoover to ensure there's no dust or anything on the floor. And then we started to paint with synthaproof. Synthaproof is a cold applied bitumous emulsion. It contains a synthetic rubber latex and once it's applied it drives to provide a completely waterproof and vapour resistant damp proof membrane. Paint the walls to just above the DPC and six inches onto the floor, giving you a completely waterproof seam between the walls and the floor all the way around. Leave that for a couple of hours before you paint the main floor space. Having left it for a couple of hours, the main floor area can be painted and your first coat, the first of two coats, goes on with the brush strokes predominantly in one direction, i.e. in this case from left to right. The second coat, when it's applied, is applied at 90 degrees to the first. Um, the second coat can be applied after 24 hours. It is, however, still a little bit tacky, so use a board to stand on to save lifting up the synthaproof, proof and the walls and the floor can be now painted in one go. So there we have it, a retrospective damp proof membrane applied using synthaproof. And after this, the floor went on to receive building regulation approval. And of course, we were able to relay the insulation on furring pieces, leveling the floor up and getting the whole conversion through approval. If you'd like to subscribe to DIY Doctor, you can receive regular updates about our videos and the activity that we've got going on that should help you with all of your projects.